Good morning guys, hello from Dallas. It is a lovely Friday morning, it is about 8 a.m. and I'm going to go work out and I'm gonna go make some breakfast. I just have much to do today, so um, let's go make some breakfast. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Look how great my lashes look, I'm still obsessed with them. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I got lash extensions for the first time. And I literally just washed my face and I can look like this waking up, which is incredible. Like. I feel so much more confident, this is great. Anyway, let's go make some breakfast. Worthy, I am worthy, you're worthy too. Oh, Bo's worthy. <laughs> that had me fooled, man. That had me freaking fooled. Looking like a nice cup of coffee in the morning. So here's today's breakfast. I don't want to eat anything too heavy because I'm working out, so I got granola and yogurt, coffee and water. Simple enough. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning. Bye, Hazel. <laughs> All right, y'all, off to the gym I go today. I'm wearing, this is nothing new for me. Honestly, I kind of maybe need to get new workout clothes. I don't know, or, or don't. I'm wearing my green Lululemon leggings. I love these. This is weird, but I'm lifting up my shirt. This Lululemon sports bra and my Nike trainer. And yeah, I kind of did my hair slick back today. You guys have seen this before. It's raining again. It's so frustrating, but let's go. Hey guys, I'm at Vive. I don't know what it is today, but I cannot hang. Like, I am so out of breath. I started seeing blue after jumping off the treadmill. So, I'm, I'm not good today. Okay. Okay guys, workout is done. It was really good. It was hard today, but it was really good. Brock invited me to go to this thing. It's called ATF. I think it's called Adaptive Training Foundation. I think that's what it's called. Basically, Brock trains these veterans who are disabled. They have, you know, might, might have lost their legs or something during war. And so he trains them and gets them back to, like he like helps them recover. I thought that'd be a really cool thing to check out. He's invited me before and like invited Sarah. I think Sarah went with him one time, which was cool. So I want to check it out and just kind of like get to talk to these guys. I think it'd be a really cool opportunity. So I'm gonna go with him and scope it out. So see you guys there. Hey guys, okay, so I'm here with Brock at Adaptive Training Foundation. That's what it's called, Adaptive Training Foundation. And we're gonna do a little bit of interviews with people. Brock's volunteering. And I'm just gonna hang out with some of these guys, get raise some awareness for this. It's really cool. These are all war veterans who are disabled to have Brock. <laughs> and Brock's gonna be training them today. So it's pretty cool. And some of them are cool being on camera. So I will interview them in a bit. So here's what this gym looks like. Mr. Brock himself, ready to go to work. Brock, introduce him. So, Derek, tell me about yourself. This is Derek, by the way. <laughs> ATF athlete. Class Hi, Derek. Um, just a well, combat vet, Purple Heart recipient. What branch? Uh, Army. 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 Combat engineer. <laughs> Say on. Uh, uh -huh. I just. Uh, what happened? Uh, I got blown up in uh, Panjway, Afghanistan. It's a uh, little district inside Kandahar Province. Um. I was on a route clearance patrol, a mounted route clearance patrol. We were driving in uh, G31s, and uh, we actually found the IED, um, trying to clear it, didn't go off, and as we were pulling forward, it blew up. It's command detonated. Mm. And, uh, yeah. That's a long 10 seconds. I just didn't, I enjoy my freedom, and uh, yes. there we go. My retirement. Hoorah. So. And thank you for your service. Everyone truly appreciates it. Look at him, still killing it. This guy's incredible. Incredible. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Let's go. Last one. Let's go. Get up. 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 One more. Let's go. Thirteen. This is hard. Okay guys, I'm back in the car and I just have so many, I, I literally feel emotional. I have so many thoughts after going to that. First off, I mean, you're not supposed to feel sorry for them. They don't want you to feel sorry for them. And it's more that I am so unbelievably grateful that these men put their lives on the line for our freedom and for our rights and to serve our country and they lost limbs over it sleep sanity i mean like dang it put a lot of stuff into perspective and i don't know why i'm like i was like i was literally in there tearing up because i was just like what am i doing to help other people and it made me just one really grateful sorry i'm gonna take this off it made me really really grateful and thankful first off for my health and for my body second off it made me want to volunteer more and serve others because that was actually on my bucket list. I made a 2018 bucket list and on that was to serve other people more, to do some more volunteer work or some sort of service trip. And I would love to start doing that this year. And then it made me realize that, that I can be selfish and that you can't only live for yourself because if you only live for yourself, you're gonna be unhappy if your world revolves around you and what you're doing and your success and only your happiness and never serving other people or you know going out of your way to make other people happy and loving other people like you're just living a selfish life and it made me just realize like okay like I want to do more for people so that was really really cool I'm really thankful Brock brought me to that it was really cool to see that to just interview the guy hear his story and just to get to be a part of that for a day and it just put a lot into his perspective for me and I just found myself getting emotional for some reason and I was just like, this is really cool. I'm really thankful Brock brought me and hopefully you guys could think about something or learn from that or anything because I just thought that was really, really cool. So I am now going to head home and just reflect more, I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to head home now and just get this day started. Okay, guys, so I just got... Sorry. I just got to um, UPS to pick up my, um, to finally check my P.O. box. I haven't checked that in a while. So it's time to do that and see what you guys sent me. Again, if you guys want my P.O. box, it'll be listed down below for you guys because I love hearing from you all. So let's go check it. Hello. Hello. Where are you going with my sock? Can I have my sock back? No, I want my sock. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I got some good stuff from you guys today. Can't wait to open it. All right, guys, so I'm chilling in my room. I'm about to just knock out my long to-do list. I was talking to Danny for a good while, catching up with her. Um, yeah, if you guys have been following her Instagram, she's been taking care of this sick dog. The dog's in the vet right now. We just got an update on the dog. Not looking too good. Like, there were some good and some good, some good and some bad updates, but I just really pray that dog makes it. So I'm uploading yesterday's vlog, doing some paperwork. I mean, there's just so much to do. I don't even know how I come back to Dallas, and I still have, like, a really long to-do list. Ah, I'm just so happy to be home for real. Okay guys, I got impatient. I started opening up my P.O. box and I opened up one of my things and found a pair of leggings. Oh, hair, cooperate. Found a pair of leggings in my P.O. box. So these are from the company of Barbella. I'm gonna try them on. They got me a size medium, which I don't normally wear that in leggings, but let's try it on. So here they are. I definitely feel like I could have gotten a small. If you put your legs together, these fit your crotch super awkward. Can that plane stop? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I feel like they don't fit very well. Maybe I need a smaller size. That's what the back looks like. That's what they look like. I appreciate the company sending these to me though. I just think maybe I might need a different size. I don't really know. I don't. I don't even know what company this is. I feel bad because they just dropped this in my PO box, but I just. I don't. It looks so awkward. Yo vlog fam, hello, it's been a couple hours later. I am getting ready. I got invited to a birthday, oh my gosh. I got invited to a birthday dinner, this is so, <laughs> ah! sorry.
short. This is gonna fall. Um, I got invited to a birthday dinner, so I'm like rushing to get ready because I'm supposed to like be there at seven. And you guys, it's 6:36. I mean, um, sorry. Okay, so I'm supposed to be at this birthday thing at seven. It's 6:40. Do I look like I'm ready? No, I literally just hopped out of the shower. I'm like rushing to get ready. And we're gonna go two-stepping tonight. And so my friend Hunter, you guys don't know Hunter. I don't think I've showed you guys her before. Hunter is a um, girl that I know from Dallas. We actually met on social media. She's the best. So we like started following each other on social media. We were like, let's be friends. We met, went to the porch together. She's a believer, it's awesome. And we became friends, and so we just like hang out. And so I was like, girl, I'm back in town. We gotta hang out. She's never been two-stepping in her life. And I'm going with the most fun group ever. If you guys remember my friend Daniel from my LA vlogs, he'll be there. He is the, by far, the best two-stepper ever. Oh my gosh, my blending is so bad. This is what happens when you rush your makeup. Um, Daniel is the best two-stepper I've ever seen. So I'm really excited to go with him and that group of friends because they're all so fun and they're such good guys. They all like love Jesus and they're just, oh, I love them. I love Texas. <laughs> I am rushing. This is not good. My makeup's gonna look like a freaking wreck. Anyway, so I'm bringing Hunter to that and so I'm gonna try and rush to this dinner. It's at North Park Mall. North Park Mall is the best mall in here in Dallas. It's the only one I ever go to because it's my favorite. So I'm gonna go to that. And then we're gonna go two-stepping. Y'all, I'm, mm, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm excited to see Hunter, I'm excited to see my friends, and just go two-stepping. Like, two-stepping is like the most Texas thing you can do. And I have been missing it back in LA. Like, ah! y'all, my makeup's gonna be so bad tonight. You know what, whatever, hopefully everything's dark tonight. Hopefully no one can see my ratch makeup in the lights. The great thing is I can save so much time because of my lashes. Like literally all I gotta do is my brows and my lips and I'm done. Like that is epic. That's epic in my opinion. I gotta spray this, that was my tripod so I gotta spray this. I just got this from Urban Decay. It's pretty awesome. I'm making a wreck. Ah, oh, yes, yes girl. Woof, love it. I'm heading to North Park now. Now I'm going to go, pausing this. Heading to North Park now, I'm gonna go celebrate my friend Eduardo's birthday and people are definitely staring at me. <laughs> this is such a weird thing in Dallas. Going to North Park, I love this freaking mall, and then I'm going two-stepping, I'm really excited, guys. Okay, bye. It's, it's Aguardo's birthday! Woohoo! <laughs> Everyone's here, cold. gang's all here! Birthday to you! Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear Eduardo! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home and um, my friend's about to come over, but I wanted to talk I want to talk to you guys about something really really fast just because I Want to handle this um, maturely and I know that there is going to be tons of comments regarding me and Brock in this vlog And I'm sure before you even get to this portion people might be commenting about me and Brock I just want to say that if I could please ask you guys to cut the comments about me and Brock and shipping us together and everything. It's just, it's not a thing. Yeah, I don't think those comments are necessary and I don't, I don't really want to entertain them. I don't think that it's ever been smart to entertain those or to encourage them. And you know, for a while it was fun and all and for a while it was funny reading all the comments and just seeing how in love you guys were with Brock and everything and, but I just, ask you guys to respectively kind of cut the comments from here on out. It's just not necessary. We're not, you know, we're not dating. We're not a thing. Like, it's just, it's not necessary. So if you guys could respectively um, just understand and we can carry on from there. Nothing you guys need to worry about. Just, I don't want to make this a big deal. I just needed to address this because I know by me, ba by me being back in Dallas that all these comments were going to start coming and like, yeah. So I just feel like I had to address that before it got kind of, worse in a way and yeah so that's that thank you guys for understanding and i'm now gonna go two-stepping <laughs> you guys i'm here with my friend hunter have you been on the vlog before no this is hunter's first time on the vlog so hunter and i met through social media we met at the porch like literally instantly we clicked like it's not yeah, right I mean, it was like we didn't even it was like we just knew each other forever it was so chill which i love when that happens when you just vibe with somebody right off the beginning like 
It's great. So I'm back in town. We're gonna go two stepping. It is her first time two stepping. So it's so gonna be exciting. a blast. And like all the guy friends that we're going tonight are incredible at two stepping. I probably won't bring my camera because it's too big. I'll try and vlog on my phone or show you guys something, but it'll be fun. So we'll see you guys there. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so the night was really fun. It was all fun and games. Until? <laughs> Until, well, we have oh some stories story. to tell. We're dancing, like this place alternates between two-stepping and normal music. We're, you know, we're dancing. Hunter has her phone in her back pocket. Not a good idea, apparently. And this guy is just eyeballing her, and he comes up to her and he's like, hey, you wanna dance? And at first you were kind of like, no, and then he was like, do you wanna dance? And then she started dancing with him, yeah. thinking it was gonna be two-stepping, right? Want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Was it two stepping? No. It was like high school homecoming all over See, again. See, he starts like grabbing her hand. He starts going like that. And I was like, uh uh. So I like grabbed her away. He gave me like the dirtiest look and he was so mad. We we think he pulled her phone out of her back pocket and ran off. Because next thing we know, her phone's missing. Gone. And it was gone prior. Let's just say that. But it was carpet and I couldn't have heard it fall. So yeah. we're on the dance floor at this point. Like it's a wood floor. We would have heard it drop, right? Or someone around me, because we were the whole group. We would have yeah. seen it. You, you would have seen it. Someone would have picked drop. it up and given it to someone me. Someone would have kicked it because we were all dancing. So then she's like, oh my gosh, my phone's gone. My phone's gone. We're looking everywhere. I'm calling it five or six times. Finally, the seventh time, this dude answers. He's like, hello. And I'm like, where's the freaking phone? And he's like, I'm at the middle bar. And I'm like, okay. And so like our friend Garrett, best dude ever had our back and like come storming over like he is so pissed he's like uh-uh like nobody messes with my girls and so we go over there and i'm like excuse me give me the phone back i'm like why do you have the phone he goes oh she dropped it i'm like likely story at this point i'm away from her right and i'm walking the dance floor with my flashlight trying to find my phone and the dude comes up to me after he after Janine and Garrett get my phone, and he's like, where's your boy? And I'm like, what boy? I'm just trying to find my phone. And he's like, grab my belt loop, and he's like, let's dance. Uh -uh. And then Garrett no, comes no, up no. behind me, he's got my back, thank goodness, and he knows more than I know. He's like, we found your phone. He had it. And he goes, oh, the phone? And then later on in the night, he comes up to me again, I call him a phone stealer. <laughs> but the fact that he had the audacity to approach me Two extra times after he took my phone and he said he didn't have it. He was like, I mm -hmm. have an S. I didn't think you took it because you didn't have a phone. I think yeah. you took it because you wanted to call yourself. <laughs> she, he probably did. I well, no. he didn't. He's not that smart. Oh, I was like, he didn't have a password. Well, he, I thought he could have maybe like emergency call or something, but um, I tried to do it myself and if I was him, it wouldn't have worked. But, you know, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. So that was her story, and then my story is just a little bit different. This way. I was having the best night of my life. I'm twirling and, you know, doing my little thing on the dance floor. And next thing I know, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm feeling, you know, around, and my ID and my debit card are both gone. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. So we're looking everywhere. Same thing. We all have our phones out. We're, like, looking everywhere. I find my debit card because, like, some security guy had it, but my ID, Donsky. So. That's it. R.I.P. And you know what, you guys? I've had my identity stolen once, so I mean, if it's gone, gone, like, yeah, some girl literally, like, got arrested, had drug charges, got pulled over under my ID. Oh, people are the worst. So, dude. I'm like, do I report it now, or do I give it until tomorrow? I'm gonna give it until tomorrow. I don't know. That was our night. Now we're gonna go home. <laughs> you guys, I'm back home so late. It's like 2.30. I'm so freaking tired. Um, I'm going to go to bed. I have a wedding tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. So one of my friends, Daniel, you guys met Daniel. Um, he was he came to LA when I first moved in. He was in one of my vlogs. He is gonna be my date to this wedding tomorrow. I'm really excited. Tomorrow's gonna be so much fun. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Tonight was just unreal. Like, it just made me appreciate Texas so much. I love Texas. I love two-stepping. I couldn't vlog as much as I wanted to. I'm really sorry. But it was so much fun just being with my friends and everything. And just Hunter and my friend Bria. My friend Bria was there. It was just so much fun. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm so unbelievably tired. I love you guys. Thanks for watching today's vlog. And...